and welcome to another episode of The Old Core. Today we'll be learning about the most comprehensive athletic assessment ever devised by freedom-loving nations, the Army Physical Fitness Test, also known as the APFT. In order to properly administer such a test of well and physique, requires something known as a physical development officer. It takes a special kind of warrior to train and assess their fellow warriors on their warrior spirit and warrior task and drills warriors. Well, I always wanted to be a warrior. Don't we all, Jimmy? Why do I learn how to run an APFT? Well, there's the old way. Gee, Sergeant, there's got to be a better way. Well, Timmy, that's how we've always done it. Timmy's actually right. Using the latest in motion picture technology, we can show you. Disclaimer, the following content is a brief supplement to, not a replacement for, actually reading Field Manual 7-22 Appendix A. It's not that bad. Read it. Side effects may include nausea, gas, and actually learning how to run an APFT. An APFT can be done at any size. One warrior, a squad, or a whole company. But for the sake of time, we'll just do one. Even if it's just one warrior, though, no warrior is allowed to or should have to facilitate their own APFT. In order to properly help this warrior out, we recommend having an OIC or NCOIC, a grader, a timer and backup timer, and any other support personnel you may need. This team will need the right equipment to get the job done. We recommend a clipboard, stopwatches, and extra DA Form 705s in case your warrior forgets theirs. As tempting as it might be, actually use the equipment and don't misuse the support plebe. And begin! There are two minutes. Until the Your location should be free of hazards or communists, have a briefing and preparation area, a soft, flat, dry area for push-ups and sit-ups, a flat two-mile course, and should be ripe for democracy. Now you're ready to get things started. The first event is the push-up. Assume the front-leaning rest position by placing your hands where they are comfortable for you. Your feet may be together or up to 12 inches apart, measured between the feet. When viewed from the side, your body should form a generally straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. The grader must sit or kneel three feet from the soldier's left or right shoulder at a 45 degree angle. On the command go, begin the push-up by bending your elbows and lowering your entire body as a single unit until your upper arms are at least parallel to the ground. Then, return to the starting position by raising your entire body until your arms are fully extended. Your body must remain in a rigid and generally straight line and move as a unit while performing each repetition. There we go, Timmy. If you fail to perform the first 10 push-ups correctly, the scorer will tell you to go to your knees and will calmly explain your deficiencies. The next event is the sit-up. Assume the starting position by lying on your back with your knees bent at a 90 degree angle. Your feet may be together or up to 12 inches apart. Another person will hold your ankles with the hands only. Nope. Nope. No. There we go. Wait a minute. Ah, there we go. During the setup event, the scorer kneels or sits three feet from the soldier's left or right hip. A complete repetition starts by raising your upper body forward to or beyond the vertical position. The vertical position means the base of your neck is above the base of your spine. After you have reached or surpassed the vertical position, lower your body until the bottom of your shoulder blades touch the ground, completing the repetition. Your hands must remain interlocked like so. This counts. This counts. This does not count. As long as you make a continuous physical effort to sit up, the event will not be terminated. Just as before, if you fail to perform the first 10 sit-ups correctly, the score will tell you to stop and will calmly explain your deficiencies. Last but not least, the run. Honestly, there's not much to say here. However, a few things to keep in mind. Although walking is authorized, it is strongly discouraged. Cheering on and pacing your fellow warriors without physical contact is allowed and encouraged. Good job! You're a warrior now! <laughs> oh, that's alright, Timmy. That's just free enterprise flowing through you. Now, go spread some freedom! Rawr, sir! Tune in next time as we discussed how nuclear fallout is not an excuse to be late for formation.